High ticket offers. If you've been around me for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about high ticket offers before. And you probably all know that I'm passionate about helping coaches and consultants to add high ticket offers to their business for two reasons. First of all, as the coach or consultant, it really serves you. It helps you have a very simple business model where you can earn more while working less. And secondly, it really serves the client. These are offers that really help you deliver a deeper transformation to the client. So it really is win-win. So I get a lot of questions about what these high ticket offers look like. And that's why in this video, I want to do something slightly different. I'm going to take you an, into a webinar training I did previously where I shared a case study on how I helped a sales consultant create a high ticket offering for his business. What made this example quite interesting is he came to me really with a question, how could he add an extra 20,000 to his business and how could he do it simply? And you'll see very clearly, clearly from this training that I was very clear on what he should do and also what he shouldn't do. So dive in and enjoy the, the case study and I'll see you on the other side. I wanna give you a real life example. Funnily enough, with the serendipity, this actually happened today. So I was speaking to someone on the phone today who approached me because he's a, a sales trainer, successful sales trainer. And right now he sells his services. He's in the UK. So he's selling his services for fifteen hundred to thirty five hundred pounds per day. The problem with his business is it's that's clearly not scalable because he's only got a cer certain amount of days in the month. And frankly, the most he wants to sell any month would be 10 days, six to 10 days of his time because he's got other things that he needs to attend to in the business. So the big question for him was, how could he add an extra 20,000 to his business? And he also set the criteria, it had to be simple. So that's pretty much what he came to me saying, here's where I am, here's where I want to go, and it has to be really simple, Bernadette. Now, what he also brought with him was he mentioned that he had a $197, uh, £97 DVD package. But I ruled that out very quickly when we were putting together his plan to make an extra 20,000, and let me explain why. For him to make the extra 20,000 that he wanted to make, or wants to make, he would have to sell 101 units of that product. Now, as I said, I've been marketing online for a long time, and 1% is pretty typical of a conversion of web sales. That would be considered a good conversion. So for him to sell one unit, he's going to have to sell 100 visitors to a page. That means to sell 101 units, he's actually going to need over 10,000 visitors a month. Now, that means he's setting himself up for full-time traffic generation, full-time customer su support, and take it from me, full-time headaches. So, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, when I've got products and I've got products in my offering, I'm just going to have this wonderful business that makes me money while, I'm, while I sleep and I will just turn on my computer in the morning and I'll see these orders that came in and over, overnight. And yes, it does happen, but I just want to be really straight with you. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, to, to do that kind of volume, you're going to need a lot of things in place in the business. And, and the big issue that you're going to have to do that kind of volume is going to be traffic. And that means that either you are going to be full time working on traffic or you're going to have to hire someone to work full time on traffic. And because the, the rules of traffic are changing all the time, it's like a full time job just staying up to date. Well, does that sound like um, a freedom based, simple model to you? Because it certainly doesn't to me. So I ruled that out. So this is what we came up with um, instead for him. So the suggestion I had for him was that we created a high value online interactive program. He's already serving clients and he has a standard program, a standard sales training program. But, yeah, he tweaks and adapts when he goes to different clients. But in the main, 90 percent of what he's offering his clients is the same thing over and over. Now, I wasn't surprised to hear him say that because the 80 20 rule plays out. And I know this myself, like when I'm with clients, 80 percent of the time I'm sharing with them the same strategies that I've shared with, you know, the other 80 percent, 80 percent of my clients. So there's there's a bit of um, repetition that goes on. So what we looked at was what if he was able to create an online interactive program where the content that's the same is basically pre-recorded, So it's there and it's stored and his his um, clients and students can access it online. 
but we also make it interactive. So instead of like, well, they've just got the content and then they're off on their own, that, you know, he's there for some of the time. But the good news is he doesn't have to be there for all of the time. So we talked specifically um, about a program he had, which at the moment takes him three days of six hours training. So it takes him 18 hours to deliver. And when we explored um, how much of that was the same content, about nine hours of that is the same content that's been, um, you know, delivered over and over again. About 25 percent of the time, his um, a, a, attendees of his training course would be doing worksheets and exercises and completing exercises. And about 25 percent of the time, he is answering questions and helping people to take that content and adapt it to their situation and dealing with any questions that come up. So by structuring his what's currently delivered as a three day training and by structuring it as an online program, he's actually able to um, deliver the same, if not better, quality content to his clients that he doesn't have to be there in person. So that's how it's now scalable. So for instead of going and doing a three day training course, if he's able to sell people onto this eight week program, he then can make the same amount of money, but only showing up to do the live bit of Q&A. So this is what I mean when I say scalable, because whereas he was kind of reaching the ceiling on his income with his old way of working, suddenly this completely opens up um, his market because there are all sorts of uh, potential. Like one is that, um, you know, he ends up doing a group program where d different companies are able to access the same content and they might still have access to him um, one on, you know, within their company for the Q&A. But it just o opens up the, the opportunity. Now, also notice how we've just then changed the offer, because when he's offering a three day training program, we all know this. We've all been there. You go and do a training program and. Um, you, you know, you get all motivated, you get all fired up and then you, you, you go back to work and you, you put a couple of things into practice. You get some results. But, you know, gravitational pull that takes the, probably two weeks after the training, everything that you've learned has fallen by the wayside. So for him to take what he's currently delivering as training and positioning it this way, he's actually moved it. He's now really giving people online training and coaching because the Q&A is an opportunity to do coaching and support people putting it into practice. So that actually means his clients are going to get better value. Think about it. If you were learning to sell, where are you going to get best results by being immersed for three days and getting lots of content or by working with someone over a period of eight weeks? And then, of course, um, the final thing is that there was physically less time for that if he physically has to show up and deliver. So this is why how we were able to take the ceiling off his income. So let me just show you the numbers now that we worked out for him. As I say, this is a real life example from a business from someone that I actually spoke to today. So the price point for that program, we arrived at four thousand and we arrived at that price point. We didn't pluck it from thin air. We arrived at it based on what his clients are already paying to get his what he has to offer. But in his old way of delivering it. And. Um, you know, we then calculated that basically to get uh, to make 20,000, he just needs five companies to say yes to his training package, where for a price of four thousand pounds, he will train up 20 of their staff or 20 of their staff can have access to this online training program. Now, I then went on to ask him and you would expect this because he's a sales trainer. I said, you know, how many people would you need to speak to in order to make those five sales every month? And we calculated that he would need 20 qualified leads. So you think about this. Which task would you write, like to have? Which marketing task do you want? Do you want the marketing task which requires you to find 20 qualified leads every month? Or do you want the marketing task that requires you to get 10,000 new visitors to your website every month? I tell, I'm telling you now which is the easiest, fastest, most direct path. So there's an example of a high value scalable model. Hi again. I hope you got some value from seeing how I approach creating a high ticket offer for my clients 
and more importantly, the thinking behind a high ticket offer. So it, again, it really is about win-win. It's not just about adding zeros to a price point. It's about creating bigger transformations for your clients and customers. So you're delivering more value to them with the end result that you get paid more to. So it really is a way that everyone can win. Now, if this has got you thinking about your high ticket offer, there's a few ways that I can help. First of all, beneath this video, check out links to other videos I've created on creating a high ticket offer, adding them to your business, why you should do it, where to find people who, who will buy these services. But also I urge you to check out my program, Get Clients Make Money, where not only will I help you create the high ticket offer for your business, I'll help you find the clients who want to pay those premium prices because they want that bigger transformation. I will show you how to connect with those clients, how to book sales calls with those clients, how to conduct those sales calls, and deal with what may come up, which includes their objections potentially, and also perhaps your own fears and doubts about whether you've got what it takes to sell high ticket. It's all in there in the Get Clients Make Money program, so I do urge you to check it out. Either way, I really hope I'm inspiring you to create a high ticket for your business because I know this is the fastest, smartest way for you to get a business that you love where you're serving clients and have a big impact and getting really well rewarded and ultimately it serves your clients too.